Hey everybody, it's Pat at Dancing Moon Travel with another episode of Let's Talk Travel. Just little snippets of of interesting things I find around and about or topics that that, uh, come to my attention that I think worth mentioning. Um, So today I I got uh, a survey results from an AARP survey uh, where they were talking to baby boomers about their travel plans and and what they plan to do in 2020. Um, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, They found that uh, most boomers, at least the ones that responded to this particular survey, plan to do, to take, (laughs) you guys are gonna be on the road. They, uh, boomers are going to take three to four domestic trips uh, in 2020. Now that could be just, uh, you know, to the next city where you spend a couple of days uh, at a hotel, it, or it can be uh, uh, international. Most frequently mentioned domestic cities were, were Orlando, Las Vegas, New York, Boston, and Los Angeles. Kind of typical, what, what one would think, uh, cities with, with a lot of interesting uh, places to visit, sightseeing. Um, And uh, one in four are planning to do some international travel uh, with the most of those planning to do a bucket list trip, something that they've planned for, you know, this has been on the top of the wish list for a long time. Um, 12% taking multi-generational trips and 12% doing solo traveler, uh, going as solo travelers. uh, I think that's very intriguing and, and uh, just something that, that, that came really came to my attention on that. With these kind of trips, folks, uh, they're, they're trips where, where you're going to be best off if you work with a travel advisor um, on, on these kinds of trips. Um, international travel, um, you know, it has a lot of pieces. You're going into countries where they speak a different language and unless you uh, do this frequently, it might be a little overwhelming. Um, travel advisors, we're capable. We, we work with providers and destination specialists. We can put together seamless packages for you that are stress-free so, so you don't have to be worried about how do I get to my hotel from the airport? Uh, will they be able to speak English? Will they understand what I'm saying? We arrange for a seamless trip with those transfers and, and sightseeing and lodging, all included, usually airfare as well, all included in one nice seamless package uh, and uh, multi-generational trips. So if you're if you're planning group travel, for sure you, you are best off to enlist uh, a professional to help you with, with that trip. There's a lot of moving parts when you're doing a group travel event. Uh, even if it's just a friends and family getaway. And uh, the last one on that list was solo travel. Why would a solo traveler uh, want to talk with, work with a travel advisor? Well, we know the providers that are most friendly to the solo traveler, um, the, the ones where you have uh, uh, special rates and special accommodations that are uh, set aside just for single people traveling alone. Uh, there are providers out there that do this a whole lot better. Uh, like many of the river cruises uh, have a certain number of staterooms on every cruise that they uh, allot just for singles. And some of them actually have departures that are solely for, for the single traveler. So uh, another area where you're really well off to work with the travel advisor. Anyway, this just came through my desk this afternoon. I thought it was interesting. Uh, you, you know, uh, so I, I just thought I would throw it out there. If you are a, a baby boomer and you have big travel plans, uh, I just encourage you to uh, uh, contact a travel advisor who will be able to help you put together a seamless, stress-free vacation, uh, maybe save you uh, not only stress, but uh, time for sure. Uh, it may save you money and uh, certainly may uh, save you from making mistakes. So uh, Pat Hand, Dancing Moon Travel, where we do save our clients time, money, and mistakes. Um, 
But uh, if not us, work with some travel advisor and uh, make sure that your vacation goes off without a hitch. Thanks, everybody, and uh, happy travels. Talk to you soon.